Alright guys, so this is going to be the start of the videos where I start going over everything that I picked up from that last junk haul, and yeah, we're going to start out with Swole, and we're going to go with keyboards. So, well, the important keyboards of the bunch at least. This is a, let me pull it up here. This one has some Velcro on. I think this is using a POS system at some point. This is a Cherry ML 4400 or a G84 4400. This uses the much less known and much rarer ML switches compared to something like the um, Cooler Master uh, keyboards, which use, you know, Cherry MX switches, or the DOS keyboard, which use, also uses. Cherry MX switches. Still a mechanical keyboard as you can see here. Very linear switch it feels like. And it doesn't have a very good I mean it still makes that that nice click when you hit down when you hit down on it when you bottom out on it, but I mean if you were to try to not bottom out, you wouldn't get much of a sound out of it. It also has a track ball, apparently made by Logitech. And as such, you've got two PS2 ports. The problem being is that they aren't marked, except by this tape, which I think was added after the fact. So you're kind of left to guess what goes where. Uh, at least on these two, they are marked, and I know the blue one goes to the keyboard, the purple one goes to the mouse. So, I've got the PS2 adapter right behind me plugged into a USB hub, so I'm just going to take this over, and we're going to plug this one in. And I believe this one is known to work. <coughs> Excuse me. We have a light saying trackball. Trackball is not coming up though. Did I get them wrong? I might have. This keyboard is working, I know that much. Maybe I have to plug it back in. Might actually have to restart the computer. That'd be something. Yeah, I'm gonna guess I have to restart. So we're gonna restart. And I'll join you at the BIOS where it has mouse support. I actually had to skip on the USB adapter because for some reason this keyboard really does not like USB adapters. So I switched over to the actual PS2 ports on the motherboard and now, as we can see here, Everything is actually working. And I can use the mouse. Uh, fast boot. And everything just works. And I hit F2. I think the trackball could do with a little clean, but otherwise it seems to work. So, that's one board down. I'm going to go ahead and power off the system now. And we're going to go ahead and swap to the other board and see what we get. There we go. Same board. ML4400 again. We're going to go ahead put it down and I'm going to go around back of the camera here plug this bad boy in so blue is keyboard you know if it would actually go into the plug that would be nice thank you Alright, 
let's see if this one will power up. Now, I, was, I thought this one was dead because it was trying it with the PS2 adapter. But it looks like the PS2 adapter does not like these keyboards. So, turn this off. Don't have standby on this, so maybe it might actually be dead. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Or the computer just won't start up. Weird, my computer is not starting. We'll be right back. So I think this keyboard might very well be uh, hosed because I had to unplug it for my computer to actually turn on. Like I think it was causing a problem in the standby power because my computer acted like there was absolutely no power going to it. If I take you guys off the tripod for a minute, if I can, if we go over to my custom build here, you can actually see a little green light there. And get in right there on the video card that indicates standby power. And while this keyboard was plugged in, that light wouldn't even turn on. So that's kind of a little bit concerning. Um, this keyboard might need some help. I don't know why. Considering the other one worked just fine. Really nothing wrong in there. Oh, oh, I see what's wrong. That's a shame. You see that? Those two pins right there, that one pin right there is stuck. And I think that's what's causing it to bug out. So if I can straighten that pin, I might be able to bring this keyboard back to life. But that's a project for another day. Um, this is meant to be a short and sweet video on the keyboards. So one of them works. Um, as far as the other one, I mean, if someone wants to tackle that for me, I'll gr gladly hand it off. But as far as I know, like... Um, I was planning on actually selling, well not selling, but looking to trade both of these for a, uh, a ch any Cherry MX Red baseboard because I love the AT101W, but it is very terrible for gaming, as in, it's a great typing board, but my, hand, my fingers get far too fatigued when I'm gaming on it, so I was thinking about trading it for something a little bit better suited for gaming with some really light key presses like the MX Red board. So, if you're willing to do a trade, hit me up or uh, I'll ask around, see what I can find. But until, until next time, I'll see you guys later.